All right, friends, so I'm going to show you how to make a left turn. So when you're making a left turn, you want to make sure that your left shoulder is aligned with the curb. You see the curb there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate and then I'm going to line up my shoulder. So that's how forward you need to go. So your left shoulder is kind of in line with the curb and that is when I'm going to turn. So when you turn the wheel, this is the way you want to turn. So you go like this. So you go one, two, three. You hold it there. You push the gas, push the gas. See how it's bringing you in the lane and then you let go of the wheel and you stay in your lane. That way you're not overturning or you're not under turning. Now I want to show you how to turn the wheel when you're turning, when you're doing left or le right turns. So a lot of times people do this, right? This is the method they use to turn. But this is something I would not recommend because, you know, in three point turns, when you're doing this, it takes forever for you to make the turn. And uh, so my favorite way is hand over hand. I know in some books and in some videos, or rather in some countries, hand over hand is not allowed. And that is why they recommend this thing. But in Canada, hand over hand is very much allowed and it's very it's a very efficient way of turning the steering wheel. So this is the way you want to turn. So you go hand over hand like this like this and you go one two one two one two like this so that's the way you want to turn so you want to practice it a little bit if you're not used to this if you've been using this way of turning the wheel shuffling the wheel so now for a turn what i want to tell you is you want to hold the wheel in 9-3 position and when you want to turn left you want to go this way so you go from three o'clock to nine o'clock you stop here and then this hand goes to 12 and you bring it to nine here now i know that was a lot of numbers and it might be difficult for you to remember so what you want to do is let me show it to you again so you go half a circle half a circle like this and then a quarter circle that's that half a circle and a quarter circle and you come back to the nine position and you hold it there for some time and then you ease off so when i say ease off you mean i mean to say that you want to let go of the wheel slightly but the thing is you want you don't want to like take your hands off the wheel sometimes some students would take their hands off the wheel but no you don't want to lose control of the wheel so you will ease off and let the the wheel slightly straight like let the wheel straighten out in your ha in your hands let me show it to you now watch this i've already turned the wheel and when i give gas it's going to try to straighten out you see there you go there you go so that's the way it is right so when you accelerate the wheel is going to straighten out another another important thing i want to tell you about the wheel is that see the wheel doesn't turn if the car is not moving now i've turned the wheel and i've stopped the car but the wheel is not turning the moment i take my foot off the gas the wheel is going to start to straighten out it's going to attempt to straighten out and it's going to stop when it's straight watch this see it's not turning anymore the wheel is designed in such a way it's engineered in such a way that it will want to straighten out and stop when it is straight so that is why that is what you're going to use right you're not going to make efforts to try to straighten it out with your hands that is why i love the easing off the wheel technique because it allows the wheel to straighten out by itself so when you're turning what you want to do is that you want to accelerate a little bit hey when i say the wheel turns when the car is moving i also mean to say that the wheel moves faster when the car is moving faster if you want the wheel to straighten out faster you might you you must accelerate a little bit so let me show you how it works when we turn now watch this so i'm going to go one half a uh, half a circle and then quarter i'm going to hold it and i'm going to accelerate i'm going to accelerate and i'm going to ease off now while i'm accelerating at the same time i was accelerating gently you don't want to push the gas too hard this can get tricky usually when 
someone is learning, dry, learning to drive, turns is what makes people nervous. So what they would do is they would, they would hold the wheel and they would go like this and they would start going into the oncoming traffic. That's because they, they, they want to hold the wheel as a crutch, right? So they need support and uh, because of fear, they don't want to let go of the wheel. But you, you want to let go of the wheel so that it can straighten out and the car can go in the direction it wants to go. Now I'm going to show you how to make a right turn. When you were, want to make a right turn, you want to creep up a little bit and you want to align the front of the car with the curb. Now that was a curb and the front of my car is aligned with the curb and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn half a circle, then quarter and hold the wheel. So let's see, one, two, like this, and I'm going to slightly turn. Like this might require a little bit of turning and then you ease off the wheel and you accelerate. Wow, what a smooth turn it was. So that's the way I'm going to do another turn. So I slow down here. It is aligned with the curb. I go one, two, three like this. And then I gently let go of the wheel. It is so smooth and you want to stay in your lane. So that is the way and trust me, it comes with practice, but trust me, with one or two hours of practice, you can definitely, definitely get the turns right. I used to get people who had difficulty turning and I taught them how to turn in, in the right way within two to three lessons and they were surprised to know how they could do it. Hey, it's all about the techniques. If you know the right technique, and you try it, you are definitely going to get the results. So please do try these methods and tell me how, how you find them. Does that work for you or it doesn't work for you? And if it doesn't work for you, then I'll try to make a video to show you how you can do it better. Tell me what problems you're facing and I'll try to help you out. So that's that for today. And uh, I'll come back with another lesson for new drivers. And if you like this video, then do give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again next time.